what happened, I quit. Why did I quit? Because I'm a grown ass woman and I can do what I want. I just hate the idea that corporate America has taught us that if you don't put in a two weeks notice, it's like a death sentence. But my manager, she's trying to get me to stay two more weeks. So this week, and then two additional weeks. We're not gonna be able to find someone in two weeks. I understand that, but I don't care. I don't want to be here. Like, I literally always express my frustration with the job. Nobody wants to listen until, oh, I'm gonna quit. And then it's like, oh, well, we didn't know. You were frustrated. Yes, you did. I mean, I don't expect anything to happen because like my frustrations with the job are like in the job itself. It's just so stressful. Anytime the, the customer doesn't fulfill their side of the job, the warehouse is on my ass, right? Anytime the warehouse doesn't fulfill their part of the job, the customer is on my ass. I don't like this. I just realized that's not the, the type of environment that I want to be in and getting up out of there. She, she's frustrated. That's understandable. But it kind of pissed me off how she was just kind of like, for future reference, if you don't put in a two weeks notice, it's like literally the end of the fucking world. And that's not the case. I could have got up Friday and left like I wanted to and not said a goddamn thing. They lied to me. I've been bamboozled. You're supposed to be able to take this thing off and put it back on however many times you want. And it's not even, sh bitch, I was like, what the fuck going on in my car? It's not even sticky no more. I came over here because I thought I wanted McDonald's, but I realized I'm not hungry. Then I was like, I could go get coffee from McDonald's. And then I was like, it's gonna make my stomach hurt and I ain't really trying to have diarrhea. I got water and I got tater tots. So I think I'm just gonna eat my tater tots for breakfast. I am so tired. Fuck, I'm not getting no goddamn sleep. I was tired yesterday. I'm tired today. I'm probably gonna be fucking tired tomorrow, bitch. Okay, thank you, concentrate. Oh, today's day, uh, what's today, Wednesday, day three. I am on my way to work again today. Uh, supervisors just told the, the women that are gonna be taking over my accounts that I'm leaving. And <laughs> the one woman walked up to me yesterday and she just looked at me, started shaking her head. I was like, what, wait? She was like, you know what, read my mind. <laughs> She was like, are you going to be here Friday because we need to get together? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to be here Friday. <laughs> and she was like, I'll get with you Thursday just in case. <laughs> my supervisor had the nerve to ask me, well, I mean, do you want to stay and do a different role? One where I'm doing like less work, really? I was like, no, because I already know these bitches are going to be petty and going to be upset that I'm not doing work. And I already know that y'all would probably still have me doing the same shit just in a different role getting paid less and i was like i'm not trying to do that good morning you in the way motherfucker move today is saturday october 9th 10th 7th in continuation of this uh career change vlog i guess what is, i don't even know what this is thursday i ended up going to work thursday and i received an email that was not intended for me, but uh, it was of my manager and my general manager. And basically they were talking shit about me in the email. They sent, they were sending emails to each other. And then one of the emails got accidentally sent to me and I saw it and I'm just like, yo, what the fuck? So I emailed my manager back. Um, Cause the email that got sent to me came from my general manager. So I emailed my manager and I was like, um, I know that I have one more day, but uh, I received this email that I'm sure wasn't intended for me. I'm sure there was no like ill intent, but uh, I'm uncomfortable at this point continuing to work here. So I'll be leaving immediately. My badge is on my desk. And so I sent my manager that email and I clocked out and I left because uh, what the fuck? Like, I understand that y'all gonna talk shit or whatever, but like literally just, I didn't want to see that bullshit. Like watch who you send your emails to. Cause I, it's not like I made this decision lightly to leave this company. Like I've, I've been working with this company for half a year now and I hate the job. I hate it. It's stressing me out. I hated it. So why would I want to go with y'all into the busiest season of the year knowing that it's probably literally going to mentally break me like no i did what i was supposed to do i put in a notice and i'm like i'm leaving employment's at will and i'm not willing to work anymore so i'm leaving they're, they're like calling me texting me oh my manager was like well i'm not in the building so i don't know what happened bitch you were the one talking about me 
what you mean you don't know what happened they even had hr contact me so i called her back because hr calling me i'm thinking it's gonna be something about my paycheck i called her back to see what was up she she saw the email that i sent my manager and she was like well i heard you were uncomfortable basically trying to make sure i'm not gonna like retaliate against the general manager the one who sent the email she was like do you want to talk about it i was like no but you can let me know how my last check is going to be delivered let's go back to the email i was like no i don't have anything else to say to you goodbye what the fuck i need to get over it. so this happened thursday on wednesday i got an email from amazon i'm supposed to be going to amazon i got an email from amazon that my appointment was canceled as in like i won't be able to start do i turn here Today's Saturday. I'm supposed to be starting at Amazon tomorrow, Sunday. I won't be able to start. So now, I don't have a job. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed out. My mom and my friends are all like, oh, just take this time to chill. It'll be fine. You'll find a job. And I'm like, but will I though? I don't know what to do. I'm lost on the road. <laughs> Losing control. Real and it's swearing at me. Sorry. Sorry. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Whew. Good morning. Yesterday I tried DoorDash. I didn't like it. I think I need to uh try it again. Oh, this bitch. I'm probably gonna try door dashing again this evening. But uh today, this morning, I got a text message from a uh, warehouse. It was funny as hell. Basically, we got jobs come work for us it was so random too like i don't even think i applied to work at this company but the text was funny so i'll go i'm still waiting on amazon my background check still has not come back they sent me another message saying that my appointment was canceled so at this point i'm like all right fuck y'all i really hate working for warehouses because they really they talk to you like you stupid they treat you like you a child and it's like what the fuck i did the application or whatever it went by fine it was whatever um, and I'm leaving. Like, literally car parked right beside the security booth. Woman run out the office. Bam. You cannot walk up here. Only security walk through these gates. It's open. Like, it's literally open. I can literally, my car is right there. No. There's a camera right here. It's watching you. Bitch, fuck you. Fuck that camera. Go to hell. Okay, top flight security. I hate it. It's, it's them motherfuckers. It's the motherfuckers that work in the goddamn office that talk to you like you're stupid. This woman had walked up to the um, had walked up to the desk and was asking the uh, HR the recruiter person a question about her application or whatever. And I guess she didn't like what the woman had said, so she rolled her eyes and walked away. And then the recruiter woman was like, uh, "It's the eye roll for me. I hope her lash gets stuck to her forehead or something like that." And I'm like, "Yo, y'all some rude ass bitches." Y'all some rude motherfuckers, I swear to God. Applying to jobs in Memphis be like. Can you please give me a call at your earliest convenience? I'm just glad I'm moving to another shift because, baby, I feel like that was the most hating shit in the world. Then, she don't know that I know. Bitch, I could have came there and bushed your motherfucking head. But I left it alone. I ain't got to work with these hoes number one day. For real, huh? You so silly, man. Yo, I'm jobless now. I'm applying to other jobs, but until something hires me, I'm looking for something like quick. I'm trying to work at Amazon. Amazon's playing with my emotions. Trying to work at a bunch of different other warehouses. They're like messing with me. And a friend actually brought up doing DoorDash. So I figured I'd try. I started signing up at 11 and literally I was ready to dash by like 11.15. <laughs> I don't know how, like they literally background check and everything done, 15 minutes. I'm like, yo what oh my first initial thought was like yeah this is it gotta be a scam like why house like i was like i'll get on i'll do a dash i'll see how i feel about it i can see how people could make a lot of money with this especially if you're like or if you're getting deliveries that are like close uh, you don't have to wait too much on like people to let you into their apartment the food getting ready and stuff or traffic so i can see how people could make a lot of money doing this um i guess i just need to practice I must eat out, little nigga. Don't get me scared. Oh lord, she scared the fuck out of me. This bitch pulled up right beside me too. Stupid house. Woke up, but I got an email. Um, damn, I look exhausted. I got an email. From 
and they told me to come in for an interview and this is the distribution center y'all know i'm looking for a warehouse job once i left the interview i was there for like an hour i just went straight i came down here and got my drug test so i just did that the lady in the interview today was basically like you can basically start in a week i'm like oh shit i like that oh mm -hmm. any more job updates i'll let y'all know hello welcome to the day in the life of an unemployed 